Hallo och hej alla sammen och välkommen tillbaka till en ny episode av Dark Souls 2 med fru Bruse. Hej hej. Så då startar fru Bruse nettop på vår ho avslutar förra gång. Här i eh, mot eh, Things Betwixt och ho skulle till och löp in i en liten grotta här. Och här var det ju eh, ganska så tomt. Og her begynner det å bli mange beskjeder på bakken, som andre spiller har lagt igjen. Og jeg tipper at her står det Illusory Wall Ahead, eller noe sånt. Try Fog Wall, and then Hurrah for Curse, ja vel. Hurrah for Fog Wall. Ja, det er jo bare trolling og tullball. Sånt skal ikke fru Bruce øh, øh, bry seg om. Og alle disse blodflekkene her, det er rett og slett andre spillere som har dødd. Og jeg Så det. Han må ha slåss mot en annen spiller, tror jeg. Jeg vet ikke helt hvordan det funker her, men ok. Da kom fru Bruce ut i majula, og her er det tre med et litt sånn slitt kles stykke hengende. Et monument ute i det her. Noen bygg. Det er jo veldig fint. Og langt der borte over hodet til fru Bruse, så ser man noen bygninger som holder på å falle ned i havet. Og her er sjøen. Det er jo fint. Skal vi se. Der er hvordan han løper opp. Her. Divine Blessing, hmm. Ja. Uh, fru Bruse skal ikke løpe opp der enda, og her ser det ut som hun kan løpe inn i byen, men uh, det var en liten uh, avstikker her, ja. Se her. Her var det et hull i steingjæret. Og her går det an å hoppe ned. Der er det en ting, og her, her er det flere ting. Morningstar og Cleric's Sacred Chime. Det skal fru Bruse lese på så snart hun er ferdig her. Og Binoculars, fantastisk. De bruker jo fru Bruse veldig mye. Og så kommer fru Bruse inn her igjen. Skal vi se, her var det allerede tent, og hvis fru Bruse snur seg rundt her, så kan hun løpe tilbake igjen til der hun sto. Her. Så da står fru Bruse her ved innganger til denne lille landsbyen, og kan kikke på disse tingene og plukke opp. Det var en morning star, a club fitted with a spiked head. The spikes of this blunt weapon cause bleeding, normally wielded by clerics, but clearly intended to draw blood. Binoculars are used to peer at distant sites, equip in place of a weapon to use. A rare tool crafted in Volgan. Those, these won't help you in battle, but with a little creativity can be put to good use. Oi. Og så var det, ja, Cleric's Sacred Chime. Most clerics receive this as their first sacred chime, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. To use miracles, equip a sacred chime and attune a miracle at a bonfire. The strength of most miracles is affected by the caster's faith. Ja vel. Så da er fru Bruse i Majula, ser det ut som, og der er en bonfire, så da kan hun begynne med å bare løpe bort til den. Der står det en dame, men fru Bruse skal ikke løpe bort til henne helt enda. Fru Bruse kan jo sette seg ved bonfire. Og da er det sånn i Dark Souls 2 at man kan hoppe mellom bonfire helt i forbindelsen av. Så vi kan hoppe tilbake til Things Betwixt. Det kan hun gjøre snart, og så var det noe et tune spell som hun burner og greier. Det kan hun komme til etter hvert, men da tror jeg bare at fru Bruse skal ta en liten runde her i majula og 
ikke i hus og hjem. Og her kan hun... Her var det jo et... Her er det, skal vi se, hva gjorde han da? Han uh, hoppet ned, ja. Ja, og døde. Det burde jo være et tegn til fru Brusa at... Uh, Slikt skal man ikke gjøre, selv om man lander på det øverste der, så ser det ut som man antageligvis dør, og her var det langt, langt ned til bunnen. Nei, fru Bruse, hold deg unna enn så lenge, og bare sjekk ut tingens tilstand her. Se her du, hallo, hallo og hei. Øh, uh, oh, hallo der. Velkommen til min shop. Jeg er Morlin, og jeg, ja, jeg selger armer. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. Ja da, fru Bruce er snill, men... Uh, yes. well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. Det kommer du til å gjøre mål inn, men fru Bruce uh, synes bare at... Uh, det var litt uh, at du snakket litt lavt, så vi tar det opp et, uh, et takk. Da var det. Well, thank you for coming back. Do take a look at my wares. Well, I... I what? Det var ikke nok. Vi prøver uh, litt grann til. Sånn. Well, thank you for coming back. Do take a look at my wares. Vad kan du säga? Iron Palmer, a small shield made of iron. The unusual design suggests a foreign origin. Lightweight despite its iron construction and sturdy despite its small size, but not sufficient to pro sufficient to protect one from real danger. Och den um, ska vi se. Det krever for det første 10 strength, og det har jo ikke fru Bruse. Og så blokkerer det 85% physical. 30 magic, 65 fire, 65 lightning, 50 dark, 30 poison, 30% bleed, og 30% petrify, og 30% curse. Det har 50 stability. Ja, og det er det. Dette er jo litt bedre og litt dyrere. Medium sized metal shield, a commonly used standard shield, has a pointed top designed for ease of use while on horseback. Twin dragon great shield, a wooden great shield featuring twin dragons, quite light for this size of shield. One requires strength to handle a great shield, but they are very stable. In battle, one fights using, using shield bash instead of parrying. Oh, here are the massive rustninger. Um, jeg tror ikke jeg skal gå gjennom alt dere her. Falconer Helm, kanskje. Helm worn by the Volgan Falconers. Domestic Volgan soldiers are infam infamously timid, so it is no wonder that this fierce band of mercenary Falconers was hired to compensate. In practice, they serve as bodyguards for the affluent elite, and they serve well, such that nobody dares scrutinize their backgrounds. Og det står det samme på alt. Ok, fru Bruce skal ikke bry seg om noe sånn, men hun kan prate litt. Jeg kom fra Vest, fra Volgen. Har du vært der? Det er et liv, vibrant med trade. Det er kompetitivt, selvfølgelig. Og du må bruke hvilene for å komme noe. Men jeg har ikke hatt penger for det, så jeg har lagt hjem i håp av å strike gull. Det har vært år siden da, og jeg har gjort veldig lite hendelig. Jeg vet ikke hvorfor jeg er her. Alt er alt rundt og døde. Det er terrible for bedrifter, virkelig. En gruppe som kaller seg de blå sentinelene har blitt mye større i Volgen. Du kan ikke bare gjøre en skole uten deres hjelp. De klarer å være med for å arbeide for det greie og gode, men det er absolutt hogwash. Hva er det? Hva er det hell er jeg her? Jeg håper jeg ser deg igjen. 
Okej, okay, Morin, det var grejt. Vad är det här? här? Lite sån rustning och ting och uppe på loftet. Vad kan man finna här? Oh. En skatt. Titanite shard. Det var ju väldigt praktisk. Titanite shard used to reinforce an equipment to reinforce equipment up to plus 3. Titanite was discovered in an ancient layer of earth and it and is said to be a gift of the gods. Titanite of this size has very little power, but is it is still a rare find. Ja, så där kan man se att i motsättning till Dark Souls 1 så kan man då här med med bruka en vanlig titanite shard kunna uppgradera till plus 3. Och i Dark Souls 1 så var det ju plus 5 och det är för att i uh, Dark Souls 1 så var maximal uppgradering plus 15 och här är det plus 10. Så vapen och uppgraderingssystemet är nog annorlunda. Men det kan vi ta ett avvärt så vi kommer till det. Och här då. Här var det låst. Och här är en brönn med en sten som tror du kan Dytte ned i. Woohoo! Loot! Estus Flask Shard. The shard of an Estus Flask. Shards are deeply soaked in Estus. Graft the shard to an Estus Flask to increase flask uses. Over the ages, countless souls rested their bones as they drank from the original flask. And now this shard remains, serving as a vestige of their hopes and dreams. Okay, och här... Uh, här är det noen små griser. Og da skal jeg bare si til fru Bruse, hold deg langt unna de griserne enn så lenge. De er små, men... Uh, ho, 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 så slemme de kan være. Da er det best å bare gå inn her. En pusekatt! Hallo, pusekatt. Og det var alt. Frue så kan klappe pusekatten og kanskje også prate litt. Oh, undead are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well... Suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> mm, then the cotton can you your uh some year? Abandon covenant covenants. Så har ikke vært med i noen covenants. Hun selger ting. Hun selger ringer. Ring of the evil eye. Det husker man fra Dark Souls 1. A modest but inexplicably disturbing ring. Absorb HP for each enemy defeated. Peer too closely at the rare stone that forms the eye of this ring. And things that writhe and stir may come into focus. Silver cat ring. Silver ring depicting a leaping feline reduces damage from falling. Legend has it that when cats grow old, a force brews within them and they are reborn as something new. Mm -hmm. So, du? Är du genfött som en katt eller du? Chalkwire? Vi får se. Red eye ring. A cursed ring depicting a demon eye becomes easier to be detected by enemies. If it is tranquility that you seek, then you should never have left your home. If you seek strife, then fair enough, but no need to overdo it. Ja, fru Bruce skal ikke bry seg om sånt. A special ring, name engraved ring. A special ring that can be engraved with the name of a god. Becomes easier to connect to worlds of players who chose the same god. There are countless vestiges of long-lost gods in the ruins of Drang Lake. Or perhaps they are the very same gods as ours, only known by different names. Ring of Whispers. Ring worn by Roy the Explorer. Hear the inner, vo inner voices of surrounding foes. 
useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps for a few other things as well. Homeward Bone, return to last bonfire rested at. Bonfires burn on the bones of undead, and this bone, belonging to one whose journey was cut short, has the power to travel to bonfires, as if it yearns to resume its futile quest. Prism Stone, a slightly warm rock, emits a beautiful facing aura of seven colors with a very rare eighth. The Prism Stone does nothing special, but if you feel that you may lose your way, it can serve as a path marker. A luring skull, a skull of unknown ownership. Smashing it releases traces of souls which attract nearby foes. Does not work on all enemies, but can prove useful in unexpected ways. Otterslut Lloyd's Talisman. Talisman used by Cleric Knights blocks Estus recovery within a limited area. It is said that the Cleric Knights used these talismans to hunt down a cursed undead. Cleric Knights fight with pride and by blocking the recovery of the undead they can also fight with impunity. Okay, sikkert flott og fin ting, men for Bruce skal jeg ikke kjøpe noe av det. Hun kan derimot prate litt. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> each passing day, men vi har nettopp møttes, du, Kattepus. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> The only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Mm -hmm. Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. I don't think Frau Bruce should speak to the rock. That will be a little for me, I think. This place is all right. Okay, that was it. That was it. We had a ball. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's dismaying. Okay. Um. So, Fru Bruce, come on, tell me four gamblinger. Bruce, on the top. Yeah, yeah. Shall we see what's in here? Life gem. Åh, det har jeg lest på allerede i forrige episode, skal vi se. Her går det en gang nedover, ser det ut som, ja. Noe over døra der. Så sa hun at det var en Victor Stone behind here. Det må da vel være opp her, det. Ja, her, oi, her er det også en ting. Fem homeward bone, glimrende. Pent, 
pent och Victor Stone Enter Covenant. Nej, fru Bruce vi inte göra ting vanskligare för sig själv än det allredan är så hon har det vara. Oj. Se där du, där var det ett uh, höjt uh, hus. I bakgrunden där. Stor uh, höjt och stort höjt och sort. Ja, ja. Ja, oh, hej sån. Hallå där. Grönne man. Hej sån. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. I'm a blacksmith. Bring me that... Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Oh, then I was very lost. So let the kunde ikke være. Oh, her er det soul of a nameless soldier or tre life gems. Det er jo fint. Og der står det en dame og kikker. Oi, her og der var det et uh, stor festning. Stille fjerne her. Hm. Da kan fru Bruse løpe opp til monumentet og se hva som er der. Å, oh, der sitter en fyr. Og her da. Ja, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 73.387.143 dödsfall i Dark Souls 2. Ja väl då här uh, The letters are worn beyond recognition och där uh, är det någon uh, hus som har fallt fallt i havet. Då kan jag få brusa prata med du min gode man. Hallå. Ja. Undead, aren't you? No. You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden, and like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul, and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. 
You will face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Ja, det kan jo sikkert bru fru Bruce bli med. Hun har jo ingenting annet å, å gjøre, så kjør på. Blue Seal. Topp, topp. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the Blue Sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the Sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine, as I have nothing left anyway. It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Learn gesture, yeah. Welcome. Top, top, top. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there, not without a ladder of some sort. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, Try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago, a woman called a fire keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the fire keepers went. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Drang Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbols that appear upon the ground. These are summon signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds through the schisms in time. If you fear hollows, Find some signatures to call upon spirits to help you. Do you see the way beyond that you but don't? May you find peace on your journey. Okay, han hadde jo riktig så mye å si. Han forklarte jo egentlig hele, hele spillet nesten. Um, fortalte om at borte der kan man gå, og borte der kan man gå, og man kan gå ned i det hullet. 
i backen där borta. Det var ju ganska uppenbart från förra, men okej, okay. och så fortsatte han lite om 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 sån melding och lite sån olika ting så han var ju riktigt så prat som och fru Brus lärde oss en gäst som hon kan visa nå. Välkommen. Ja, det är fint. Då är det en person igen att prata med och det är Hodama som står och kikar ut över sjön här. Hallå, hallå och hallå. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Estus flask, top. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald, or... Det är väl Emerald Herald och hon sa Go see King Vendrick. Okej. Får du så får göra det då? Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Ja, både katten og han mannen oppi der, og denne Emerald Herald snakker om the four with the men's souls, the four old ones. Så det er vel fire bosser da, som fru Brusa kommer til å komme bort i, og nå må jeg nyse litt, så får vi se hvordan det går. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope, however faint it might be. Ja, så får du så kan level up. Det er ikke noe vits å gjøre nå. Men hun kan også upgrade Estus flask. Ja, det kan hun gjøre. Give Estus flask shard. Ja, så klart. Det har en halv time med nesten bare prating. Fru Brusa skal prate litt til, og så kan vi ta en liten slåsskamp som på tampen av episoden, bare for at det ikke skal bli alt for tamt. Men få høre litt igjen med Emerald Herald. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it, Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows, but all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus shard, bring it to me. So that I may ease your burden. Over the hill and 
where am I? But what? Okay, da hui, det var mye prating. Da har fru Bruse pratet seg gjennom hele landsbyen her. Og da kan hun bare få få litt avslutte med en liten litt action. Så kan fru Bruse hoppe tilbake igjen til Things Betwixt og bryne seg på den her Hva skal man kalle det? Litt på en slags flodhest lignende skapning som hun møtte på veldig tidlig her. Så nå har jo fru Bruce en kniv, så burde det gå greit. Der står han, ja. En slags flodhest med hoggtenner og haler og går på to bein og... Ja, ja, ja. Åh! Åh, der traff han nå! Ups! Nå må ofte brus rygge litt. trangt her. Vi må opp her, hvor det er litt bedre plass. Sånn ja, sett den her. Sånn. Og fortsett å sette seg her. Sånn ja, nå. Sånn. Hva er det? Tusen souls. Ikke verst. Og hva legger denne fyren igjen? En stone ring. Stone ring. The beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothian, formerly of Forosa. Hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial, but for those who comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in enemy defenses, the significance of this ring will be clear. Ja, det forstår fru Bruse, så den ringen skal hun ha på seg. Og så fikk hun jo en ring, Blue Seal, fikk hun han der solden. Ring of the Way of Blue Covenant increases HP slightly. The Way of Blue is not a developed religion. It is a humble prayer that spread naturally amongst those seeking help. When apostles of Blue are invaded by dark spirits, they can receive assistance from masters of other worlds. Ja da, det er sikkert helt greit. Fru Bruce er enda mer at hun kan klare seg selv, men det er jo alltid greit med litt hjelp. Gold Pine Resin. A rare pine resin with a golden glint applies lightning to right hand weapon. The affected weapon inflicts lightning damage for a short time, particularly effective against foes who are resistant to magic and fire. Ja, og så plukket jo for Bruce også opp en divine blessing. Holy water endowed with a divine blessing cures status effects and fully restores HP. Water blessed by an ancient goddess. Her name is long forgotten and the magic academy of Melfia denies even her existence. In any age there are those who refuse to see reason. It is their meddling that distorts the truth. Så der ble det nevnt The Magic Academy of Melfia. Det er vel første gang fru Bruse hører noe om de, tror jeg. Så da kan komme fru Bruse ut her, ja. Her har hun vært før, og da tror jeg at det er passelig å bare sprette tilbake igjen til Majula og avslutte episoden der. Det har vært to episoder med introduksjon, men den er nå over. 
Og neste gang vil, det, vil fru Bruse begynne på sin reise for ordentlig. Men det får bli neste gang, så da er det takk og farvel fra oss to, og ha det godt. Jeg håper vi ses igen i neste episode med fru Bruse.